Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a video that I don't think I've ever done before and I cannot believe that I haven't because I've got so many of these. Um, today I'm going to be talking about all of the vanilla oils that I have in my collection. So I have got a ton of vanilla oils and I'm going to jump right in. I will say um, about 70% of them are from one <laughs> company. But anyways, I've got a lot. I'm going to jump right in. So I'm going to start with all of the ones that are not from the one company. Um, we will start with this one here. This is from Nest and this is called Madagascar Vanilla. Um, I love this oil. Oh, I love this scent. This is a really warm, it's a really warm, sweet, perfumey vanilla. Um, it's got a little bit of coconut in it too, and you definitely get that. It's a really beautiful, warm, sweet, creamy coconut and warm, sweet, creamy vanilla. It's really gorgeous. Madagascar vanilla is, um, it's almost a little bit of like a darker vanilla. I haven't worn this on its own in a really, really long time. I need to keep this one out and wear it again and see how long it lasts. This is one, I've had this for such a long time and I keep saying I'm gonna buy a full a full size of this, um, but I, I haven't even gotten halfway through this little one yet. So, and I think it's because I've got so many vanilla oils. But anyways, yeah, that's the first one. That one is Nest Madagascar Vanilla. It's beautiful, really high quality, very expensive smelling, gorgeous. Um, okay, I've got a couple from Kumba Maid. Um, I love both of these. These live out. I use these to layer a lot. I wear them a ton. I love them. Um, the first one is Vanilla Musk, and this is basically I wear this one a lot. This is a really beautiful, clean, sweet Egyptian, like white Egyptian musk or like an Egyptian musk and vanilla. Very simple, um, very linear, very easy to wear. You definitely get the vanilla white musk combination for maybe the first couple hours that you're wearing it, but um, after it dries down, it does, the vanilla kind of fades away and you're left with the Egyptian musk, which is fantastic. Um, it's really beautiful, very good quality, um, very long lasting. When I first got these, I didn't think that they were gonna be long lasting, but they are. They're very long lasting and just gorgeous. I love Kumba Maid, they're some of my favorite oils. Um, yeah, in fact, there's some of the first oils I think I ever wore. I used to go to this health food store called Earth Fair um, years and years ago, like in the late 2000s. And that's when I first started picking up these Kumo Made oils and I love them. Uh, so anyways, that one is Vanilla Musk, and then the other vanilla one that I have from Kumba Maid is just plain Vanilla Bean. I, I've i got huge dents in these, like almost halfway through, I'm almost halfway done with these. I love this just plain vanilla or vanilla bean because that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a vanilla bean extract. It's not overly sweet, it's very rich, it's very warm. It's a very decadent vanilla scent, just plain vanilla. Oh, it's fantastic. If you like the smell of vanilla extract, I think you would really like this. Um, it's got even that astringent quality that vanilla extract has to it. It's gorgeous. So anyways, that is Kumba Made Vanilla Bean. Okay, next I've got a generic oils. I have used this to death. Um, I love this. I did make a decant for somebody or I, maybe I've made a couple decants, um, but I love this oil. This is the um, clone oil of Shalimar Millicene Vanilla Planifolia. Oh my gosh, I love it. This smells almost identical to the real thing. I mean, it it smells identical to it, not almost. It smells exactly like it. Oh, it's so good. It's so long lasting. This is nuclear. You will smell like this for 24 hours or until you wash it off. It is phenomenal. These generic oils are, I think, some of the best clone oils on the market. I think that they, of all of the clone oils I've smelled, the, this this brand, they're definitely some of the best. So anyways, that is Shalimar Millicene Vanilla Planifolia from 
um, generic perfumes. Okay, and then the last one that I have that isn't a Sweet Essentials oil is this one here. This is from Unique Oils, and this is um, this is Jimmy Choo Vanilla Love, a clone of Jimmy Choo Vanilla Love. Um, this. This is a really, really pretty perfumey. Yeah, it's a very pretty, very grown up perfumey, like very warm, slightly woody, a little bit peppery vanilla. This one reminds me a lot of Michael Kors Midnight Shimmer, but it's not nearly as sweet as that. This one is a little bit more woody and this one has a pepperiness to it, and this one's a little bit warmer, but it's it's still a perfumey vanilla, like Midnight Shimmer is. It's really, really beautiful. It reminds me of something else that I've smelled before. I just, I've never been able to, I've never been able to put my finger on it, but it does remind me of something. But it's really beautiful. The actual perfume is really hard to find. I think I did, see it on Joma shop not too terribly long ago and it was a decent price um but it's one that i go back and forth with that i'm like oh do i really want a full bottle of that i don't know i think i'm okay with the oil um it's really nice i would love to smell that the real perfume though to know if the oil actually smells like it i'm not sure okay and then i've got a ton from um sweet essentials and i have a ton more of vanilla oils that I want to get from Sweet Essentials. Um, okay, the first one I have is this one here, Jasmine Vanilla. This is one of the very first Sweet Essential oils that I ever got. This was sent over to me from my fragrance friend, Susan. And I love this. This is really beautiful. I don't know that it smells like jasmine to me. It just kind of smells like a non-distinct floral. Yeah. Kind of like a non-distinct floral and a creamy vanilla. It's really, really pretty. It's really nice on its own. Super easy to reach for. Um, it's also great to layer with if you wanted. If you have a vanilla, but you want to add like a little bit of a floral, um, a little bit of a floral to it. This is great for that. It's really, really pretty. So that is jasmine vanilla. This is one of my favorite ones. I use this to death. This one actually separates when it sits for a while and I have to shake it up and it's it's actually cloudy too, um, which I really like because it's, it's this is a strong one. This is the Dreamy Vanilla type, um, Dreamy Vanilla from Victoria's Secret. So this is a clone of that. And this is one of my absolute favorite vanilla oils that I have. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. If you guys remember Dreamy Vanilla from Victoria's Secrets. Ugh, it's such a good vanilla. I so wish that they wouldn't discontinue their vanilla scents because Victoria's Secrets does some of the best vanillas. And Dreamy Vanilla is no exception. It's so good. I've used a ton of this one. You can see I've got a huge dent in it because I love this one. Um, so that is Dreamy Vanilla. And the the Sweet Essentials oils, it depends on which one you're using, but typically I can only get a few hours out of them before they, before I can't smell them anymore. Um, or before I would have to reapply. So if I am gonna wear one of these as like my actual scent of the day, I just carry it with me everywhere I go so that I can reapply it. Um, because yeah, a lot of them, um, I do have a couple that last a really long time, but typically the vanilla scent, the vanilla based ones um, aren't the best performing. Okay, next I've got soft vanilla. This is another one I think, oh, yes, I think Susan sent me this one too. And this is another one that I, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. It really is just like a soft, warm, sweet vanilla, a little bit creamy, maybe the tiniest bit powdery, just a really, really beautiful, again, perfect for layering, um, sweet, warm, and different from all of the other ones that I have, so. Um, that one is soft vanilla. Um, next I have fresh vanilla and 
I think I picked this one up. Yeah, I did. I picked this one up. Fresh Vanilla. This is another one that I love. Uh, yes. This one almost smells like a fresh vanilla cream. Just like a sweet fresh vanilla cream. It's again different from the others. Perfect for layering if you want to lay if you want to add a creamy vanilla aspect to something. This is great for that. So that one is called Fresh Vanilla. Okay, next I have Soothing Vanilla Milk. This is another one. I'm gonna have to put these all over so I remember the differences between them all. Ugh, I love this one. I forget how much I love Soothing Vanilla Milk. This is another one. I've got a pretty good little dent in it because I wear this one a lot. I wear this one to bed a lot because this one this is a sweet, sweet, perfumey, creamy vanilla, but this is like a heliotrope vanilla. Like a sweet, slightly powdery, warm, like vanilla, and it smells like heliotrope or something. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love this one so much. This is one of my favorites of all of the sweet essential oils. The Dreamy Vanilla and this one right here are two of my absolute favorites. This one lives out because, again, I wear this one to bed so often. Um, that's why it's got a pretty big dent in it. So that one is called Soothing Vanilla Milk. I cannot recommend that one enough. Next, I have Vanilla Valentine. Um, I had more of these, but I ended up having to throw them away because I think it's because these are made with organic jojoba oil. Um organic castor seed they're made with organic jojoba oil organic coconut oil and organic castor seed oil and i think that the organic oils maybe tend to go off a little quicker than like a, nor a non-organic oil would i love that they use castor oil though oh my gosh i love this one too vanilla valentine this is like a this is another kind of gourmand slash perfumey vanilla. It smells like something from Victoria's Secret. I love this one. This is another sweet, creamy gourmand, but also very slightly perfumey. I love this. This is another one that is just fantastic for layering. Just such a good one. I love this one. So that one is called Vanilla Valentine. But yeah, I had to declutter, actually throw away a bunch of my oils. I had like some cake ones and cupcakey ones and those ones went off so fast. I ended up throwing those away like maybe six months ago. Um, thankfully these all, and I ordered them all at the same time. So thankfully these ones are the same age, but they haven't gone off. Um, okay, this next one is Vini Canel, and this is a Comptoir Sud Pacifique clone. Um, this one, this one smells like, oh my gosh, this one is beautiful. I also feel like I have better luck with their clone oils for some reason than the non-clone oils. It smells like wine to me. It smells like kind of like a boozy wine. Really sweet though. Like a boozy, sweet vanilla wine. That's what this one smells like. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's got, this one, I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. It's, it must be some kind of a fruitiness. Yeah, it's some kind of like a really tart fruitiness. Oh, it's really nice. I like this one. I like it a lot. This one is, and it has, this one has not gone off, not even close. So, um, that one is Vini Canel from Comptoir and Sud Pacific, Comptoir, Sud Pacific. I can never say that word. Okay. Then next we have Warm Vanilla Sugar. Yeah. Now I think when I ordered this one, I thought it was a Bath and Body Works dupe, but it's not. It's not at all. It, it's like a warm vanilla. It is a warm vanilla. It's like a warm perfumey vanilla and like a sweet sugary. It almost smells like marshmallow. That's what it smells like. It almost smells like vanilla and marshmallow. 
it's another really good one. Um, this is another great layering one. That's what I do with a lot of these vanilla oils. I end up using them to layer with a lot. Um, or I just throw them on because I just want to get a quick vanilla hit real quick. Um, and then knowing that it'll fade away fairly quickly and then I can move on to something else. But yeah, I really like these. Yeah, this one's like a vanilla marshmallow type scent. It's really nice. So that one is called Warm Vanilla Sugar. And then last but not least, I have Apple Blossom in Vanilla. And, oh, this one's so nice. I love any kind of blossom fragrance, like peach blossom, apple blossom, um, orange blossom, lime blossom. Like, I love fruit tree blossoms that's i mean i don't know that i've ever smelled an actual apple blossom but this is really light it's a very light delicate perfumey floral light delicate sweet perfumey floral with like a clean a clean sweet vanilla in the base oh it's really beautiful the floral is so light it almost has a citric quality to it um, which a lot of the times fruity, those fruit tree florals do have a citric quality to them. It's, this one's really, really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. I love this one in hot weather. It's one of those just perfect, easy to reach for, um, hot weather, light, delicate, sweet, just feminine, amazing florals. Love this one. So that one is called Apple Blossom and Vanilla. I really love that one. I'm sure those aren't all my vanilla oils. I'm sure I have more, but those are what I had in my oils that I that were easily accessible to me. I'm sure I've got more because I've always got some separated here and there and everywhere. But but yeah, that's what I have out. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.